Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So, the plan for today is to first attack this uh, group of brigands that we found at the end of the previous episode. Probably not the most rewarding fight, although with the Hedge Knight you never know. But uh, we want the experience with so many veterans. Uh, this should be pretty good for leveling. And then we want to go north and get to the Jacket Blades garrison. I don't think we're gonna attack today, because I think it's gonna be a pretty tough and long fight, judging by the reward. <clears throat> So I think if we could do this fight and maybe one more easier fight along the way somewhere, I'll try to find something. Although we are quite close, so it's hard to say if we're going to find something. Also depends on how long it's going to take to kill these brigands. But I'm guessing it's going to take a while. Uh, veterans uh, usually do take a while to get rid of. Well, we will see. Uh, before we attack, uh, we have some level ups from the previous episode. I checked all of them before I started recording, but I'm pretty sure I won't remember what I wanted to take. So, Jana. I changed Jana's gear a little bit so that uh, we now fulfill the requirements for matching sets, uh, set. Uh, we are within 10 points and it's less than 400, so it should work, there is matching set, and um, now, plus 3 melee skill, great, uh, isn't it like the first time that Joanna managed to get plus 3, then we want to take, uh, huh, what do we want to take, actually cancel that, I did take muscularity, why did I do that, I understand, I would understand Colossus, just to increase survivability, I'm not sure why I took muscularity. Maybe I didn't know what else to take. Hmm, whatever, it's a throwaway character, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I definitely want stamina, I definitely want melee skill. And now... Jenna has taunt. I think I'll go for the melee defense. Try to buff it up as much as possible with taunt. It's probably a good combination. I don't think that we'll get that much from three extra hit points, even with muscularity. And Colossus. <clears throat> okay, so that's one. Now, Ivan the Terrible. Uh, here we want to take two-handed sword master. We've been preparing for that with uh, Bloody Harvest. I will focus on all the AoE perks. So it is uh, two-handed sword. Yes, please. Uh, plus three. Ah, damn it. Mm, plus four. I could give Ivan a better cloak that would uh, get him over 40 and I could save one investment into resolve. Let me actually check the cloak. Uh, well, first it's broken, second it's minus one for plus one, and noble cloak is plus 20 for one fatigue and gives plus three resolve. That's what we need to get for almost everyone. And with plus three, we'll get to 41. So I think that's good enough. We just need to get Noble Cloak. We are over 40, which is where I want to be. It's not amazing, but I think it's enough. Uh, and that means I'm tempted to take hit points, but I think with two stars, we should be able to get five. Yeah, let's take the defense and I'll wait. Uh, it's possible that, uh, or possible, it's very likely that at some point we'll get only plus two fatigue. Uh, in that case, I'll just pass on fatigue, probably take hit points and uh, melee defense. Good. Mm, Margaret. I have no idea what I, what I wanted to give to Margaret. I think I actually wanted to go with balance. 
Not that we'll ever be able to like properly balance the the set. That we, she'll always have um, like too heavy armor, but balance works even if you like don't care about the weight or initiative or anything. It always gives at least five. It's a throwaway character, so it doesn't matter that I'm not getting maximum. Just a little bit is probably good enough. Also, there are no other perks that I would really like to take. Maybe I'll take Alert next time. <clears throat> that should help a little bit. Also, that means uh, she will go faster for stuns. Uh, is there anything? No, I don't see anything else. Maybe Adrenaline wouldn't be horrible. I think I'll try to get uh, a little bit of defense. I also want to confirm that it actually works. And uh, this is the best chance on someone who is going to be replaced. 36, yeah, it does work. Uh, but did it give me plus 5 range defense? I hope it did. I was only paying attention to the melee defense. Now, plus 3... Plus four, plus three. That's actually pretty damn good. Uh, now, Melissa, back to people uh, where it actually matters what we take. Um, double strike, that's what I wanted to take. I will take double strike. We uh, will. Also, like, where is it? Here, Executioner. Because with the first stab, it's almost guaranteed that we will leave behind an injury. And then the second stab, with the double strike bonus and Executioner bonus, should do insane damage. Combine it with uh, all the extra damage perks that uh, Melisande has. And uh, that knife is going to be doing ridiculous damage. Uh, I just wish there was a unique version of a knife that would work with these perks because uh, for a character with these perks you can't go with unique weapon. Knife will always be the best weapon unless you find or, or even if you find some insane knife or insane unique dagger is what I'm trying to say. That 12 melee skill combined with the damage, there is no way that even a unique dagger would beat a normal knife. So, I'm not sure. Do you guys know if there are unique knives, specifically knives? I don't think so, but, well. Maybe, maybe there are. I just didn't see them or haven't seen them yet. So, if you know, guys, please let me know in comments. Also, speaking about things that I don't know, uh, let's uh, mention it now before I forget. So I was told that to use Enchanter's Tent, I need a specific background called Vala. Um, I had a suspicion that uh, the Enchanter's Tent is going to have some like specific requirements. Now about this background, is it one of the backgrounds that you only get with uh, specific origins? Or is it possible to actually find Vala in any playthrough? I have no idea with these backgrounds or no, yeah, with these backgrounds uh, how you can get them, if you can even get them, or if you have to have them right from the start. So please let me know if you know any details about the Enchanter stand. Let me know in comments. Uh, I have a feeling I might have thrown away seventeen thousand, but well, we have the money, so it's not the end of the world. I, it's not really a problem. I, I don't regret this. I just. I'm just like paying to learn my lesson, whatever. I would just like to know how exactly this works. If I'm, uh, or if I should be looking at some specific or looking for some specific uh, people that could show up if I should pay attention or if I can just forget about the tent and uh, basically sell it. <clears throat> now, back to, back to Melisande. So I wanted to take double strike. And then uh, plus four, nice. Uh, I guess we'll be stacking up the hit points, even though, even though mm, we are not getting that much. 
I'll still go for it. I'll just try to stack up as much damage as I can. So I'll go Colossus, <clears throat> Muscularity. We'll ignore defense. And now... Yeah, it's 36 thanks to the cloak. I need to invest into Resolve once more. I think I'm gonna do it here. Because this will get, get me to 40 with this cloak, 42 with the Noble cloak. Uh, and plus 3 fatigue with 1 star, we should get that every time. So hopefully we'll get better level ups for fatigue in the future. Yeah, and now the resolve is out of the way. Okay, that was uh, Millicent. Now, Elmer. I also have to switch Elmer's weapon at some point. He is supposed to be a Dagger Master as well. There are so many people who are uh, Dagger Masters. Now, we're like five. Uh, what do we want to give um, to Elmer? Hmm. I think execution there. We already have double strike here, so it's the combination. Stab once, injure the target, and then finish it off with these two perks. Because I don't think there is anything super useful here. Matching set. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, I'm not sure how heavy Elmer's armor is gonna be in the end. Additional 20% damage against target that have sustained an injury. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want this one. Okay, plus three, plus four. Plus four, just get as much stamina as possible. And I think we'll give Elmer uh, heavy armor without the shield. And get that 25% uh, damage from double grip. Which is gonna be completely ridiculous with the amount of hit points that we are building up. I wonder if our daggers in the end are getting more effective than like two-handed weapons. I think they might be. So, it could be interesting to have a group where half of the group are grapplers and the other group are uh, backstabbers. And then you have like three or four uh, people with whips add to the mix for some crowd control. <clears throat> it won't be super effective against like, I don't know, undead maybe, but orcs, goblins probably, brigands, even barbarians, they shouldn't have a chance. Uh, okay, last one, Havran. Uh, I wanted to give Havran Shield Bash because we're actually using Knockback more and more often, so adding some extra damage to it could be useful. Uh, plus, uh, that fatigue reduction more than the fatigue damage I think is, is pretty useful. So let's take that. And uh, plus 3 is nice. Plus four, plus two, I guess. Okay. So that took a while. Go. Engage. Let's see. So the Hedge Knight doesn't have anything interesting. I think it's still worried stabbing him to death because the chainmail layer seems to be uh, worried something. Then, anyone else? This guy seems to have some uh, something valuable. Again, the, the chainmail layer seems to be worried something. And everyone else? We can just kill without paying too much attention how. Okay. Um, wait. Wait. How many uh, archers are supporting them? Two marksmen with light crossbows. I 
probably also should check how many veterans they have. Raider, 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 raider. Okay, so all these are raiders. Should be raiders as well. And um, those that didn't move yet are probably veterans. Now this is a raider as well. One, two, three, only four. So that's a m minimum number for some veterans. Some is, I think, four to six. Let's try to take out the crossbowman. That's quite disappointing. I don't know, I expected more damage from, from this crossbow. I also expect it to hit 90%. Ah. Hmm. Bodo can't really do anything. Let's see if maybe someone comes closer. Let's send Millison this way. Wait. Um, hmm. Probably should have moved hover and forward. Oops. Let's send more damage this way. Why can't I jump over? Wait. Um, I need to know what the Hedge Knight's gonna do. Nice. Okay, Margaret. Yeah, I'm gonna move her back. It would be great if we could do this fly without taking too much damage. Because there, there's like no range support. That's usually when uh, you can do fights, avoid damage if you play well. Let's try to play well. Mm, activate spear wall, and I can get on the high ground. I actually wasn't sure. If I was sure, I'd move Margaret here. Wait, wait. Now, 55. Please kill him. Thank you. Next one. I think I'll try to, to like crowd control this guy. He can be stunned, he can be disarmed. Um, so I'll risk it and I'll try to stab him to death. Now, miner? Or do I finish off this guy? 33. I think I'll go after the miner. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> nice. Please keep missing in that way. This is a veteran. A veteran that we don't care about too much. 68 though. 68 sounds... Like it's not enough. Damn it! Finally. That was way too many shots. Nice. That was a decent hit. So... 15%. What if I jumped up? Is it gonna change my chance to hit? It is. 25. Go. Nice. And uh, still no idea what this effect actually is, how it works. So the question stays. Do you guys know where I could find out or do you know how it works? Please, if you find out or if you know, let me know in comments. I'd really like to know what I'm actually doing to them. Well, the Hedge Knight, they're both in the middle, so I think Asmodan is just gonna stay and wait for their move. Maybe I should have moved Margaret at least here. Well, too late. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, what's it gonna be? Just waiting. But guys, now you don't have range support, so you will have to make your move. 58, please finish him off. Excellent. I tried to kill the raiders before I started uh, hitting the veterans because they 
they have so many uh, so many hit points they usually have quite heavy armor it almost feels like waste when i started hitting them now um what about this guy 85 raider yeah sure let's go after him that didn't do much either let's see with the heavier crossbow that's better yeah that's more like what i expect from this crossbow okay what's it gonna be they really don't want to go closer and um, it's not surprising what is this effect do you see that icon that i think it's supposed to be spider eyes Uh, hmm, I have no idea what that means. Does it have to do something with the favorite enemy? Okay, Elmer. Jump up. Oh, that wasn't too bad. 56. I could try it. He doesn't have a helmet. 64 here. Okay, let's go for 64. There we go. Nope. For headshot. Nope. About he we hit twice that I guess counts as as well. Uh wait, how many are there still? 14. So six of them are already dead and they didn't even get to us yet. Uh wait. Okay, can I reach him? One, two, three, I can. Uh, it would be nice if I could get a stun bot to him as well. Five Margaret has rotation. I need to get Camilla to him, destroy the shield and keep him under control. I think that's the easiest way how we can completely like negate him. Wait. If I move Camilla now though, I'll just get hit by the veteran. That sounds like a bad idea. Activate, activate spear on both sides. Oh, he switched weapons. What is it? It's a, it's a veteran. So veterans may have quick hands. Do we need? I don't think we need Zigbald on this side. There is just one of the veterans. Yeah, just raiders. Okay, let's get more crowd control to the other side. Ow. <clears throat> wait, wait. One, two, three. Can I make it? I can. Sure, let's do it. Then, 46. Let's go. Ah, this guy has to die. 61, please don't fail. Nice. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four. I could make it here, but this tile is for Camilo. I could go here all the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and get behind them. Uh, Vilray... Well, Vilray doesn't really have anything to do. There's no point in switching to a dagger. But since I don't have anything else to do... Even if I switch to a dagger, it's not like Vilray is ever going to hit the Hedge Knight. No, I'll just wait. Come on. I can do better than that. 50. This one is way more dangerous. Uh, damn it. Okay. 69, 58. Let's go 69. Uh, 
83, please kill him. That could hurt. I hope that someone, I don't care who, but that someone is faster than the raider and kills him. I guess now when the oh, actual way, if I kill this thug, that is yeah, that is a thug, then I'll let the veteran come to me. Sounds like a bad plan. Let's kill that shield. Wait, uh, ninety-five. That should work. Okay, Alvin, kill him. Thank you. Great job. I think I'm gonna rename Alvin. I'm pretty sure that Alvin is gonna stay with us, so I think at this point it's safe renaming him. Um, which way? This way? Probably. Try to get closer to this veteran. That's the one with the 200 mace. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Huh. What now? I could try here. That's, yeah, that's my best shot. Nope. 81% miss. Well, let's keep trying. 70% nothing. Finally. Uh, 39... I think I'll first try to stun him, then attack. Will I... Just sit here, buddy. Let me shut this one. Uh, who's this? That's a veteran. Well, with all of the Dagger Masters around here, it might actually be faster to just grapple him and stab him than trying to get through the armor. <laughs> Missed. I'd love to get to this guy. 28. Let's see. And it worked. Nice. If only I knew what I'm doing to him. Wait. Ninety-one percent missed. Come on. There, I should be able to kill him the old fashioned way. 22. Hmm. Oh, no, it worked. You're gonna need more stuff, more, fa no, not fatigue, more stamina for, for Melisande. Fatigue. That's the last thing that we need. That's what we currently are. I don't think I can one-shot this guy. But he can panic. Hmm. I'm really afraid that the veteran has quick hands. <clears throat> Probably don't have to worry about this guy. Oh, and if I remember correctly, there is one hiding in the brush. I just realized there was one. Okay, stun him. No. Well, I guess now it's time. The veteran already attacked this turn, so that's why I'm... That's why I'm uh, killing that um, thug. Now I'm gonna move Ivan forward, and I'll move Zigball forward. So hopefully that way I'll be able to... Uh, keep the veteran under control somehow. A95. Please kill him. No. Wait. Now let's see. 50. Go. 
Uh, that was disappointing. That was a bit better. What if I knock the Hedge Knight back? Would that work? This is perfect. This is where I want him. Yeah, this is much better than having him here. Now the question is, do I want to move Villaray forward? Probably not. Okay, Ivan. Sixteen. Waste of stamina. Asmodan. I guess the veteran is now gonna jump here. Uh, that means he'll be in the range, and I'd rather have the high ground. So I'm gonna stay. Wait, wait. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's stun this guy. Wait, maybe you'll uh, be able to stun the veteran as well at some point. Whittled. 71. We could move up, I think, and still shoot. See, I'd rather hit this guy on a slip. Nice. Now trying to stab this one. So yeah, let's jump down here. We'll have one shot. Be great if we could finish off this one. Oh, good. He had rotation, but it seems he didn't have quick hands. Promise I can't still I still can't reach him. Eh. Trying to get a kill here, and now he panicked. Problem solved. Wait. 56. 56 sounds good. Might be able... No, never mind. Fatigued. Fatigued is not good enough. There we go. Exhausted. Much better. Wait. 69. Miss. Come on, you can do it. Perfect. And we oh, we are out of ammo. Never mind. To do so, he's stunned, and this one panics. So I don't have to worry about the guy that panicked at all. Uh, the hedge and I won't be able to do anything now. Maybe I'll wait and try to disarm him at the end of turn. That's probably my best move. Uh, Bodo, what about you? Move here and wait. Elmer is gonna help here, or at least try. This guy panicked, so let's try to focus on this one. With 24, it's gonna be difficult, though. And... I could move Villaray here. This guy doesn't have a helmet, so it's ideal a target for a flail. <gasps> Yep. Ah. How did this guy die? Didn't he have like perfect armor full hit points? No, there's no way I one shot it to him with the split. And um, let's keep trying. Okay, that's a bit better. Here we can just attack. Is he still... Yeah. Because there is one perk that um, negates panic. When they take the, when they panic and take damage, they uh, recover. And so I learned to keep checking even on the panicked characters. It surprised me a couple of times. Uh, we 
actually want to stun him anyway. We don't want him to start running as we want to stab him. And it would be great if we could finally kill this one. Thank you. Uh, I can't jump across. Okay, fine. I'll just jump down then. Nice. Um... There we go. Under control. I think I actually want to disarm this guy now. Great. Should be able to finish him off. Yep. Wait. Probably wasn't worth it. I'm not sure that I'm in line here. Yeah, I think I am. So we might be able to try some indirect fire next turn. Wait. 50. Come on. No. 5. 5 sounds bad. I'll just pass. Sixty-six, come on. Nice. Finish him off. Excellent. Stunned, stunned. Let's move one tile. Kill this one. And now we just want to make room for our dagger masters. Okay, I'll just move away. Everyone who is not supposed to be here is gonna move back. Please do something about the Hedgenite. So I can take the high ground now again. High ground. Well, has to stay for now. I can just recover, I guess. Away. Away. Look how much damage he can do with just fists. Okay, we're gonna need that grapple. Let's start with that. Agnes is done. 53. Can't be that difficult. There we go. Elmer is actually a dagger master. Ah, eh, let's try. Nope. Actually, maybe it uh, it did something. I I think it increased this uh, fatigue. Switch. Come on. Switch and recover. Forty-two. Nice. No, 
as well try. Can still run. Let's make sure he doesn't. Can you please hit the head? I don't want to destroy the armor. Come on. Recover. So the Hedge Knight is still stunned. 29 isn't bad. 31, no. Wait. Come on, <coughs> Rebel. There we go. Oh, that was quite disappointing. That was very... What the hell? How many hit points does he have? Should be someone with rotation around here. Wait. Um, can I please, please finish with the Hedge Knight? Nice. I know that he panicked, but I think if I stun him, it will increase my chance to hit him even more. Yep, that's fine. Okay, Elmer, show me what you can do. points does he have it has to be the light reducing the damage it's the only explanation I have there we go okay Took a while, but um, except for it, those two punches from the Hedge Knight, we didn't really take that much damage. I think two punches from the Hedge Knight did more damage than the rest of the group throughout the whole fight. No level ups though. Unless I missed something. No, I don't think I did. That's a bit disappointing, but it's a lot. 300 even for a combo. Okay, what did we get? Uh, we got the axe, and it's basically undamaged, so it should be a decent amount of money. The helmet. Uh, this is the Hedge Knight's armor. No, this one. Hmm. This is from the veteran, so this one is actually worth more. Yeah. That's, that's the one that uh, died last. That's the one that I said should uh, have something expensive. And uh, it is expensive indeed. Oh, hey! I completely missed this one! Um, I think that was the one that we killed first. That was the one that we stabbed on the northern side. The only veteran that went north. I think that's his gear. And I didn't notice that channel layer was... Um, how is it called? I'm not sure. Uh, let's... Oh, I can't take all of it. That's a lot of loot. How much are these? Uh, probably worth taking, so... And one more knife.
Okay, how is that a layer called? And also, I'm gonna equip it. Which one was it? This one. Let's see, how does it look like? I really didn't see. Because these are the details that I'm looking at when I'm checking if there is something expensive. So I have to remember the shape and the color. That that's what I'm looking for. Because this is the most expensive layer except for unique cloaks. Or let's say most expensive non-unique layer. It's this one. How is it called? Chainmail layer, uh, reinforced mail. Yeah, reinforced mail. That's that's the name. Uh, oh, and I forgot the name. I'm sorry. Damn it. Because we're gonna rename Anita as well. We can do it next time. I'll check the whole company before the next episode and decide whom I'm gonna rename. Where do we go now? It's evening, so it's a bad time for exploring. I was thinking about climbing the mountain, but there is no point now. Might as well go to uh, Hemel directly. I'll just set up a camp around Hamel probably. Although we may arrive in the morning. Let's see. No, we're gonna need like two hours, I think. So, what do we need? Not this. Uh, this. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, don't need that much healing. Let's switch to repairs, healers, and that's fine. Seven hours, that's still quite a long time. Two healers will be fine. And who the hell is this? Plus gas isn't doing anything. How come? can practice yeah and I don't have that enchanter stand here at all I have a feeling I've just thrown away 17,000 okay. it was enough nice Um, hmm, let's check recruits. I may take a second, um, a second minstrel. What else is there? Miller. Gambler. Another Miller. Oh, let's just have a look at him. Fear of nobles, faint-hearted. No, there are two negative perks. If he had two positive perks, then maybe I'd take him because it seems what you want for uh, for minstrels is range skill, then uh, stamina and some kind of defense. I think uh, is the ideal combination. So he has two of those, but with these two perks, that's too bad. I uh, don't trust the virus potions. Oops, that's not what I wanted. 144. Mm. I still need to sell at least something. But I can do that off camera. Uh, 78. It's quite expensive. And we don't need tools and supplies. Uh, we don't need ammo either we don't have bread it seems let's buy bread but overall we have enough food let's check make sure that there's nothing unique what is this just a simple cloak yeah that's a bad one 
any uh, butcher's aprons here? No. Okay, fine. I think we are done uh, for today. So that was pretty smooth. Uh, should get a lot of money from the fight, a lot more than I expected. So that's great. Um, and we now need to move north quickly to visit those three large northern cities, check for more recruits. Um, I think what we are looking at, uh, looking for at this point are three more hunters that may take a while. Even four hunters. Then we want two stun bots, but you know, proper stun bots, not the, with 67 melee skill on level 10. And uh, then replace Heimrod with uh, there was someone else that I wanted to replace. Uh, I want to have two people with 200 hammer in the front line and one person with 200 mace. Then we are done, I think. Maybe one more utility character. Okay, fine. But as I said, we are done with this episode. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.